is at four. And there's only five minutes left, so move quickly. There's going to be a lot of disappointed people. Okay, I have one question for Dr. White and one question for Shabir. No, you only have one question. Who's it for? That's a dilemma. <laughs> okay, move aside okay, so, and let someone else in if yeah, you're in so a dilemma. It's for Mr. Shabir Ali. Okay. Uh, that uh, uh, in chapter 17 of the Holy Quran, verse 93, the certain demands of uh, infidels were, is quoted there. And one of the demands is that they asked Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, to ascend physically up to the heavens. And he was ordered to say that I am not, I'm nothing but a human prophet. You believe that Jesus Christ ascended physically up to the heavens. Don't you think that he is God? Well, it's true that the Quran says that Jesus ascended into heaven, and it is true that the Quran depicts Muhammad as a human being. Muslims also believe that Muhammad had a, a, an experience of uh, an Isra wal Miraj. Uh, but the, your, the essence of your question is, does this prove somehow that Jesus is superior because he's now alive in, in heaven with God? And to the Muslims, no. Uh, the New Testament also makes it clear that it is God who raised Jesus. So when God raised Jesus, then God is the actor, Jesus is the actor that uh, therefore, Jesus is the object here, and God is the power that raised Jesus, even according to the New Testament. This is why the New Testament uh, document, the Acts of the Apostles, depict the Apostles of Jesus as saying that uh, they, they always said that the God of our forefathers has raised Jesus from the dead. This is the depiction. So, and they said that Jesus is the servant of that God. So it is very clear, the fact that Jesus is raised up by God means that Jesus is dependent upon God, it is God who is the actor, and Jesus is the object.